Having Jen on the mountain has really strengthened our relationship. Jen has the true makings of a mountain woman. She's got grit, perseverance. She's patient. She's just got it. It's spa day on the mountain. <laughs> That's nice. Thank you. Good to see you. I feel like I've overcome one part of this, and now I'm facing another unknown. My boys are staying with their dad, and, you know, everything's fine. So maybe I don't need to figure it out so much, but somehow I have to make a choice about living on the mountain with Charlie. How about we change into our spa attire and hop in? OK. Hot. <laughs> it is hot. Got the spider webs off the outside? Yeah. Good. What do you think all this uh, debris is? Is this probably from the water hose? You know, you consider your spa life, this is a step <laughs> forward in the mountains, you know? Next thing you know, we'll be heating rocks and the fireplace and putting them on your back. Well, I don't know how safe that would be. Not safe. How do they get them at the right temperature? Uh, it was just bizarre to me how that... That's a mosquito, isn't it? Yeah, get him. If you see him land. I think I'm... Oh, I got him. Pretty good. I don't want him in the water, though. So. No. So what do you think? I mean... I really think you've done some really spectacular things. I am very impressed with Jen's growth on the mountain, her willingness to, to try everything and anything because she wants to know. I feel like I've changed. I feel like I've started to acclimate myself here. I feel more brave. You know, I was kind of, I was real scared about staying in the shack and there being bears around and bugs or mice or anything getting in, just being really out of my element here. I think I've overcome that. I've gotten more trusting of the mountain and us and our future. I do feel like this month we've spent together as a turning point in our life, you know, making a decision to want to find a way to work it out with each other. A relationship like this does not come around all the time. You know, I do love my life back home, but, you know, there, what do I want more? You know, my, my mom always told me that love is not something that happens. It's a choice. And that you choose love every day. And so you have to choose that person every day. I feel that you have what it takes and that you could do it. The question has been, do I want to and can we make it? And it's not the question for me. I want you to. What are we going to do? What's the next step? I, I want to be here with you. I want, I want a chance for our relationship to be all that it could be, together, building a life together. I still have the conflict of the kids. I, can, I have to have a place for them. You know, I could foresee us you know, maybe building you know, a supply room with some bunks in it. I was imagining a house. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah. Let's say I didn't have boys. I wouldn't be living in the shack for the rest of my life. I agree. Do you want that? Yeah, I would love to have that, but I don't want to have it without somebody to share it with. That's what I mean, that do you want that is. with me and the boys up here? Yeah, I would love that. I need some hunting buddies, people to learn the land. And they're beach boys. Well, or maybe it's something that they grow into, and they love to go back and forth just to have the best of two worlds having her around and the children around and trying to work it out. And it makes it exciting. It makes it fun. It brings life to the mountain. And I'm ready to take the challenge. What I need to know is, are you going to come here and be with me on the mountain? <laughs>